You're watching Carolina and Company Live, your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. All right, what a wonderful day here on Carolina and Company Live. Ready for an awesome show. That's right, we got a lot of stuff lined up today, a lot of fun stuff. Checking it out first, the Hollywood Minute, video of the day, and your favorite celebrities' birthdays. That's right, also talking about the app tech, excuse me, app, app of the week. Tip of the week. There we go. And today's uh, guest, of course, Kind Keeper is here, Nancy, and her granddaughter, Samantha, here for Kind Keeper of Little River, North Myrtle Beach area. Yeah, we're going to be talking about something going on in North Carolina, a watercolor exhibit, which is a big deal coming to a place in North Carolina. We'll tell you about it. That's all right. We also have a lady on the show talking about buying a car, some tips and some free workshops she's doing that you might need if you're in the market to buy a new car. All that and more right after your Hollywood Minute. Dad, you want to have a catch? Field of Dreams is back on the big screen for Father's Day. More than 600 U.S. theaters are showing the modern classic on Sunday, June 16th, Father's Day, and Tuesday, June 18th. Check FathomEvents.com for details. Ariana. Ariana Grande is the latest celeb to protest Georgia's controversial new anti-abortion law. People Magazine reports Grandy donated the proceeds from her weekend concert in Atlanta, about a quarter million dollars, to the reproductive health care organization Planned Parenthood. Pavarotti would attract hundreds of thousands of people. He became the global rock star. Ron Howard's new documentary Pavarotti wasn't his first encounter with the legendary tenor. I met him so fleetingly that it really doesn't count. It was a brief handshake and a nod, literally, uh, at some big function in the early 80s or something. There were a lot of stars there, movies, television, but when, when Luciano Pavarotti showed up, he was it. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. All right, get this. This is, I have to tell you, something crazy happens every day. One Florida man, <laughs> he's been spending his summer watching the Avengers Endgame over and over and over again. He says he's now seen the blockbuster 114 times. What? He wants to secure the Guinness World Record for the number of times someone has watched it. All right, the 30-year-old is also hoping to watch the movie 200 times before he gets removed from theaters. Whew. He's seeing the film four to five times on Saturday and Sundays. He's paying for the tickets using some rewards money, but mostly out of his own pocket. Can I you mean, imagine? I mean, man. Four to five times over a Saturday or a Sunday. That is, well, it's a three-hour movie, so I guess yeah. that's about all they can get that's in. That's all they can get in. That, wow. That's, that's, that's a crazy. That's a crazy. <laughs> all all right. right. I want to talk about something coming up in Darlington. We've got a cruise in over there at Joe's Grill, the old hangout where I used to go during high school. Been there over 50-some years. They're having a cruise in this Saturday morning from uh, 9 a.m. until uh, 1 p.m. Uh, there will be prizes, lots of fun, Joe's Grill, and uh, they'll be having breakfast and all that day, too. So it's a, it's, a, it's a cool little place. If you've never been to Joe's Grill in Darlington, a great yeah. place for a little car show. And you'll have a lot of fun. And you'll see Joey, his mom and dad, started Joe's Grill. Very cool. A long time awesome. ago. Okay. Let's talk about today. Today is Thursday, June 13th. And this is Graffiti Week. That's right. It's also Flag Week. Nas National Flag Week. And you can go home and write on the walls and, you know, and tell them it's Graffiti Day. Yeah, be okay. not a good idea. Birthday is 1981. Chris Evans, 38 years old, Captain America and the Avengers, and Captain America also in Fantastic Four. All right, 1986, Kat Dennings, 33 years old, movies, The 40 year old virgin, B, uh, Big Mama's House, Two Broke Girls on TV, and at t age 10, she did a potato chip commercial. I bet you couldn't eat one, just one. <laughs> All right, 1988, let's go. Cody Walker, 31 years old. Uh, the younger brother, of course, of Paul Walker, who was killed in that car accident. He stood in for his brother in 7th Fast and Fury after his death, and he went to a paramedic school. Oh, how about that? All right. Today in history, I tell you, some crazy things used to happen. 1920, the <laughs> United States Post Office Department, they ruled that children could not be sent by parcel post. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever tried that. All right, here we go. 1964, the Rolling Stones made a television appearance on Hollywood Palace. This was a show hosted by Dean Martin, of course. All right, let's check it out for you know, something that happens every day. We love these fun facts. It's the know-it-all department. 82% of people would feel more confident approaching an attracted person. Okay. If they had a dog with them. Oh, yeah. That's a survey. A survey just found this out. They don't mind, you know, if there's a good-looking woman over there, a good-looking man, and uh, he's walking a dog, they don't mind approaching yeah, have you ever seen that? I mean, that's like a good yeah. tactic for guys. Yeah. They get a puppy and all the girls, all the girls flock girls. to them. <laughs> hey, guess what? Speaking what? of puppy, yes? Kind Keeper's here. Hey. If you're looking for some girls, you might that's find one. That's right. Great show Keeper. coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Check out this professional mobile video editor after our advertiser. If you want high-end video editing on a mobile device, LumaFusion is the solution. It's the most powerful multi-track video editor on the App Store. LumaFusion supports multiple tracks for video and audio. Editing them is easy. Add special effects like twist and kaleidoscope and customize them to meet your need. Tilting and floating text are a breeze. Set your video in any location using green screen. LumaFusion feature set goes far beyond iMovie and the app is significantly less expensive than Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. You can shoot and edit while on location without bulky equipment. I'm Francie Black. For direct app download links and more information, visit techtangotoday.com. All right, we've got two areas of low pressure and two cold fronts. One well to our east, that's the one that provided the rain yesterday. The other now moving into the Midlands, and that one is packing quite a lot of dry air behind it. That's actually going to clear our skies out just in time for your Father's Day weekend. Taking a live look at our weather net cameras. Reminder, you can always do that at our website, WPDE.com, whenever you want. There are some areas of blue sky. There's also some areas of more so mostly cloudy skies. But as that dry air works our way, expect more sunshine, especially after 2 p.m. today. 2 p.m., you'll start to see the sun emerging across the PD and the border belt. And by 3 to 4 o'clock along the Grand Strand, that's when the uh, sun really will come out in full force. That's the actual front pushing on through 8 to 9 o'clock tonight. High pressure in control. It'll be west of our region tomorrow, but it will be on top of us by Saturday. What that does uh, essentially will limit our temperatures some tomorrow only to around 80 degrees. Of course, right now we're going to continue to see temperatures raise on up to around 84 to 86 for a daytime high. And like I said, more sunshine later this afternoon than say something at the noontime hour right now. And that will be kind of an all around the region kind of forecast. Everybody's going to see those rise in temperatures as well as the sun, not only Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but also into the day on Monday before sea breeze showers and storms begin to take over the forecast once more highs in the 90s next week. All right, Kind Keeper Animal Rescue is here with a fun little friend that you can adopt and all kinds of adoption events going on in the area. Kind Keeper is a no-kill animal shelter in the North Myrtle Beach area. What's That's wrong? Right. You want to be adopted, right? All right, Nancy That's and right. Samantha's with us. She's the youngest volunteer that they have. That's yes. right. All right, Nancy, who do we have? Go this ahead. is Dot. Yeah. Tell this, us. This is Dot. He's a lab mix. His okay. name is Dot. Dot. He's a lab. La Look Ten how weeks cute old. he is. Ten is it because old. he has a dot on his chest? Could is he be? ready Could for adoption? Be. I like his little white mittens on all his paws. <laughs> now, is he ready for adoption? He's yes. ready for he adoption. Is. All right, all right Nancy, now. what's going on at Kind Keeper right now? We have a, um, on Saturday, we're going to be at the Inlet Square Mall in, I guess it's Yeah, Merle's Inlet. Merle's Inlet. Yeah. Yeah. Inlet. Oh, sure. yeah. They have a uh, puppy, adopt a puppa palooza type thing. Oh, with a cool. bunch of, um, different vendors and whatever. So we're going to have bring our babies with us and we got lots of them. Do you? I mean, oh, really? We have lots of them. We got seven more yesterday. So wow. Um, we've got lots of puppies. Now I saw, um, I think it was on Facebook. You guys are trying to raise money for a puppy that ha maybe has pneumonia or something. Had, yes. And talk and to me about that. Th there, there's a dog that came in from 
we don't know where, just found, right. and it was very sick. And, and medical, like I've said, and we've said a million times, medical expenses are very, very high. Yes. And we have a lot of animals to take care of. So trying to we raise were some trying money. to raise some money Good. to help with the medical bills for that specific you still Puppy. need money for that? We do. Still? We need money. All, all right. How can they do that? Go to your website. <laughs> Go to our website and donate. Um, there's a there's a little button you can click on, and and we would love anything, even if it's five bucks. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And as well as, or if you want to be a yeah. monthly sponsor, twenty dollars a month can go a long that way. That would that would benefit benefit us more than you can imagine if awesome. we had a monthly sponsor, and it doesn't have to be a lot. Sure. Yeah. A little now bit. You said you had a lot of puppies come in yesterday. We had seven puppies come in yesterday. They Ooh. found on the side of the road. Um, and so, you know, you don't know what's wrong with them. And that's another medical. We have to take them all, make sure they're okay, and go from there. So can it's, you tell what breed they are right now? Or you not right tell? now. Too, not right. We're, too we're little. Not too little. <laughs> okay. That's good. All right. But that means that you guys need volunteers, fosters, that we, kind of stuff? And we did actually put out something on Facebook yesterday. We need fosters for these babies that we found okay. yesterday because they're so tiny they need to be hand fed. All right. Now tell them about foster. What do you do when you're a foster? <laughs> you have to come in or, or go online yeah. and fill out the same paperwork. Right. And we do, you know, the home check, whatever, to make sure everything looks good. But basically it's a temporary setup to help us out like sure. the, dog, the puppies that need to be fed every couple hours manually. Wow. Because there's no mama. No, there's, and, that's and right. And when wow. you foster, do a lot of these people adopt them finally? Most of them. Do they? I know they do. Uh, they take four or five at a time, yeah. and well, then, then they have to pick and choose <laughs> and right. do whatever. Any but, events other than Inlet Square coming up? Uh, we've got the clubhouse in North Myrtle Beach on Friday. Okay. And this it's one. a fundraiser. Okay. Fundraiser. Fantastic. Okay. Dot. Samantha, thank you for being with us. Thanks for being with us, Samantha. Right. I hope you have a wonderful summer. You have one too. Oh, thank How about you. Me? Sweet. You thank no, okay, thank you. not you. <laughs> Just me. Thank y'all both for being thank with us. Thank you Bye. so much. Thank Bye. you. Stick around. We've got more coming up. You know, there's a lot of ladies out there that go to buy a car and they always want to make sure, you know, I don't want to get ripped off. But, you know, I don't think a lot of them get ripped off. But you want to be sure when you're shopping, ladies, how to deal with that. We're going to tell you. Yeah, absolutely. Elena's with me. Elena, you have some tips for women and men if they want, as well on buying cars, getting the best deals on that. And you've got some free workshops as well, Definitely. right? Definitely. All yes. right, tell me a little yeah. bit about you. you. used to sell cars, right? Well, yes. Okay. I used to sell cars. When I was a little girl, I really liked cars. Okay. I was into dump trucks and cars and all that. And as I got older, I got, you know, I got developed a passion for cars. Sure. So I decided to sell cars. I sold Toyotas and Fords. Okay. And I saw the other coin, you know, other side of the coin. I saw, you know, women being discriminated against and, you know, and so I decided that I put, the, I put together this workshop called Deal Me Into Your Car Buying Experience. Huh. I like it. <laughs> All right. Just so, so you can kind of educate people about it because, you know, yes. going in blind to car buying, it's not the best well, way to do it. Well, you know, it. when you ask people, how do you feel when you're going to go buy a car? It's always, I'm frustrated. I'm intimidated. I really don't want to do this. This is not a great experience. So I want you to be, I want it to be a pleasurable experience. I want you to relax. I want you to have, be stress-free. What are some tips? Can you give us a few? We won't yeah. give away all your secrets sure, on sure, the sure. air. Do you have for, a few tips? First of all, forget the sticker price. Okay. okay. That's a manufactured uh, retail, it's a sale, it's a suggested price. Okay. okay. And so what you want to do is get the invoice and they have to show you the invoice. So you go in there, you see what the car, what they bought the car for, and then you could give them two to five hundred dollars over. Sure. You know, always go at the end of the month because they have to pay bank interest on all the cars. Interesting. So you want to go at the end of the month. <laughs> and so you want to you want to deal with the invoice. Okay, okay. okay. Deal with the invoice. Very now, important. And now mm -hmm. tell me, you've got workshops, right? Yes. That you uh, host yeah. at the library. Free, are they free workshops? Yeah, you can do it free live. workshops, okay. okay. I'm just set one up this morning with uh, Little River Library. Cool. So we're gonna be doing that. We don't know exactly when. Okay. Uh, but you can always go on my website. Uh, www.lanatorciello.com sure. and you can find out more about my workshops. A free consultation, free consulta sit down I with you. I do a you. free consultation, right? Cool. Because I really want this mission to help people. And so the second thing I want to tell you is GAP, Guaranteed Auto Protection. You need to have that. It's a couple dollars extra in your payment. But if, for God forbid, you have an accident sure. and your car, your loan is 24000 and they give you only 19000 you're responsible for that money, for the loan. Okay. Wow. But if you get GAP, then it takes it care covers of it. that. It covers it. Okay. Not only that, if your car is stolen, it covers it. Okay. 
I so like that's, it. what's it called? Gap. Gap insurance. Guaranteed oh, okay. auto protection. Okay. One more thing, can I tell you? Of yeah. course. There's GALVs. Okay. You're all excited about going there and getting a trade, right? Okay. Okay. But Kelly Blue Book is not what the industry uses. Okay. The industry uses GALVs. G-A-L-V-E-S. And you can go on it now. It's open to the public. GALVs.com. And okay. you can purchase these little three pamphlets of how, how much your car's worth. Cool. Because when you get there, they're going to tell you your car's not worth what Kelly Blue Book is. But that's not <laughs> actually so, what they right, use. Right. right. So. All right. And, and, and a lot of this is really, it's just education. And that's what you're trying to do. You're not trying to, you know, you know, car dealerships and stuff. They do a fantastic job yes. at doing what they do. But you're just trying to educate people right, right. a little so bit more. So let's look at the deal. Okay. That's really important. Okay. Deal is the decision. When you make the decision, what you're going to do, what you're going to buy, where you're going to go. Okay. All right. E is the education. You're going to go and you're going to educate yourself on the car. Cool. And you're going to go to Edmunds.com. Okay. That's a great website. Okay. Uh, then uh, A is the analytics. Know your numbers. Okay. okay. Never tell them your payment. Okay. Never tell them. Deal with the whole price of the car. Okay. Okay. And L is your finance, which is your loan. Okay. Now you don't have to finance with them. They make money on that. Sure. But you can get a loan through the credit union. Sure. And if you pay cash, you don't get a better deal. So I just want you to know all these huh. things. Yeah, so I'm always sure that, but yeah. I, yeah. Really do that. I don't know. <laughs> so I have so much more to give you through these workshops. Okay. So it's just, really important. I just want you know, just get out there, you know, contact me and I can help you. That's so. awesome. So go to go to the good. website. Yeah, yeah, just get educated so you're confident in going in and buying because everybody yeah. loves a and new I love car, to speak right? For organizations and it, for you know, organizations and groups. Awesome. Yeah, when I go to buy a new car, I feel relaxed and then I feel broke. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Cecil, come Thank on. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being with us. Welcome. We appreciate it. Ladies, you got some good tips there. All right, That's we got right. more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, the Sunset River Marketplace Art Gallery in Calabash, North Carolina is hosting the 2019 Watercolor Society of North Carolina Traveling Exhibition. What a cool event. Hey, this is a big deal. Oh, I'm yeah. You, it's, very, it's very good that they, they really got this. And yeah. Jenny's with us now to talk a little bit about you know, this coming to Calabash. We are very excited. <coughs> Excuse me. We're very excited that this is happening. Um, this, the Watercolor Society was formed in 1972 initially, and they started doing this particular traveling show. It bases the, the initial part of the exhibit starts in one part of the state of North Carolina sure. in the October usually. And then, because they want the because the watercolor society w wishes for the whole state to be able to um, see the the work that these the work is absolutely phenomenal, the beautiful work by from all the uh, the, the artists who are across the state of North Carolina. But because the show is initially in one place in, or another in the state, they they decided to to make the show. A traveling show. Once cool. it leaves uh, the the main part of the, the the initial part of the show, then it starts traveling across. So, the so state. more people can see the beautiful exactly. artwork. Exactly. Okay. Very cool. Right. Now, tell us a little bit. When does this start for you guys? And um, how well, many? Do you know how many artists you're going to feature? Their show is actually open officially tomorrow, and okay. it runs through August 14th. Um, our the reception that we have for it, which is the opening reception, would be the 21st, which is next Friday, a week from tomorrow. Okay. But there are, there are 33 pieces of art, and they are just absolutely some of the best of the best of, from the North Carolina artists. Actually, a couple of, of artists from other parts of the um, other states as well, but they are, because they're members of that organization, they, they could be included. Sure. So. Well, okay. we saw some of them just a few minutes ago now. It's coming to the Sunset River Marketplace in Calabash. Tell them where you're located in Calabash now. We're on 179 when you come out of South Carolina on to 179 going towards Calabash. We okay. are actually the very first building in North Carolina on the right side. On the right side. I've been there before. Yeah, yeah, I have been there You've before. Been there. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, this is going to be pretty neat. Anybody and everybody's invited to come see this. Everybody's invited. There's no charge. The reception is open to the public. We hope that people will come and help to support the North Carolina Watercolor Society. It's a gorgeous show. It, it's really one not to be missed. That's right. right. So if you're an art lover, you need to check this out. Yeah. Starting tomorrow, right? The show is open tomorrow. Um, the reception is next Friday, the 21st. But the show runs through August the 14th. So you do have an opportunity to see the show, even if it's not tomorrow. So. Okay. Right, go on the website and find out more information about yeah, it. Jen, thank absolutely. you so much for being with us. Thank you. We Thanks appreciate for, it. I hope to see you both there. It would All be right. awesome. Very All cool. Right. 
All right, we've got more coming up. Stick around, we'll be right back. We thank you so much for joining us today. I want to remind you over in Darlington now at Joe's Grill Saturday from 9 until 1, that big cruise in they have over there. That's the, right. The store that is, the, uh, the restaurant that's been there since I was in high school. Pretty that's cool. That's a long time. Y'all, that's a real long time. Right. I, I'm just kidding. We do hope you have a wonderful afternoon. And, you know, we were just, Cecil and I were just looking at the weather. It's yeah. going to be gorgeous yeah. coming up soon in this it's, weekend it's and stuff. It's going to be so nice. Hey, guess what? What? Tomorrow's Friday. You got it. Thank y'all so much for watching, everybody. We had a great time today. And tomorrow, we'll have an even better time. We sure will. We hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Catch you here tomorrow at noon. See you later.